and welcome to Music Lab tutorial. This time we will talk about the key switches, which is the tool that will make your virtual guitar sound more realistic. But before we get into the tutorial, I will have to tell you something. It's about the notes mapping difference between Music Labs and FL Studio Piano Roll. As you can see here, it says D sharp 1 on Music Labs map. But in FL Studio's Piano Roll, we have it on D sharp 3. Let's see. Alright, now let's begin with the tutorial. We'll start off with the mute key switch. As you can see here, there are three small buttons with the letter T, K and S. I'll explain about it in a later video. I usually create mute sound effects with three methods. First, by using the mute key switch itself. Here's an example. So that's the first method. These are the key switches. The second one is by using the repeat key zone function. It's a D sharp three. So that means D sharp 1 on Music Lab. You can see on Music Lab info screen, it says mute down. And this one says mute up. These two are the same, but they have different picking direction. And by the way, I'm using the free version of Guitar Rig 5. It's totally free. You can download it directly from Native Instrument. Okay, let's back to the tutorial. So this is the second method. Pay attention. If we move it here, it will be up and down. So the tip is, if you are making a pattern like this, imagine if you are literally playing the real instrument. I mean, yes, we are using the real instrument from Music Lab. I mean, the real life instrument. No pun. So that was the second method of creating mute. And by turning off the indicator of the key switch. Now the third method is by shortening the length of the note. Here's what I'm talking about. Let's make a chord. We will turn this note into a mute note. Okay, let's change the snap into sixth step. Just like that. Now it's a mute note. Click the copy. You 
you can multiply it. But since we are talking about the key switch, I will use the key switch for the mute. Let's change the note. Okay, let's change the color to let us know that these are the key switches. Here's how you do it. Change color. So these notes sound the same with the previously played note. The last note just before the key switch. Okay. Okay, pretty much just like that. Now we'll move on to the bridge mute. There's just a little difference between mute and bridge mute. I will change the previously mute note into E. Or the root E. Okay. Is on D1, so it will be on D3 here. Alright? Sorry. Also, play around with velocity. Next, we have three values option. It controls the intensity of velocity influence to the tightness of the sound, with number 3 gives the shortest possible sound on lower velocity values. If you switch it to off, the velocity of playing notes will not change the length of the bridge mute. And we also have a slider here. If we set the position like this, uh, the sound will be more tight. <laughs> And if you set it like this, it will be more loose. Okay. Now let's change this note into mute instead of bridge mute. Say that you want the mute to be on E or the root E. You just need to add the notes here. And to make it less confusing, I will change the color. Uh, just like how we did it last time. The velocity of the notes 
are also affect the release of the bridge mute. Pay attention to these two E notes. Each one has different velocity. Okay. Let's raise the tempo. All right, that's it. And that's the end of the tutorial. And next, we will talk about harmonic and pinch harmonic. Until then, see you next time.